In this problem, we're given a single converging lens, also called a convex lens. We can see the foci for that lens, and we're told that those are 12 centimeters from the lens itself. We have an object inside the focal length of this lens, and what we're trying to do here is a complete ray diagram showing all three principal rays to form the image. We're going to approximate the location and magnification of that image based on the grid spaces in the diagram. And then we'll actually use the thin lens equation to compute these things precisely. So we begin with our principal rays. An array headed horizontally off the head of that object is going to be refracted through the focus on the opposite side. An array headed toward the center of that converging lens is going to pass through undeflected. An array that's coming at the converging lens from the direction of the near side focus, that's going to be refracted horizontally, so parallel to the axis for this problem. So on the right side of this lens, we have three rays that are diverging. And where we perceive the image is where those three diverging rays have a common origin. So we need to trace these back, and we'll get to our virtual image. So there's the first one traced back, the second one traced back, and the third ray traced back. And these all converge at a single point, or very nearly so. And that point is where an image of this arrowhead for our object is going to form. So now we can use our diagram to approximate the image distance and the magnification. Notice that we were told the object was 8 centimeters from the lens and the focus was 12 centimeters from the lens. That means that every grid space that we see in this picture is 2 centimeters. So I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, almost 22 centimeters to the left of this lens is where the image is going to form. So I'll go ahead and just crudely approximate this and say it's an image distance of negative 21.8 centimeters. Next, we approximate our magnification. And we can see in the diagram that the original object has a height of two spaces. So then we look at the height of our image. And it has a height of one, two, three, four, five, about five and a half spaces. So our magnification is about five and a half over two. And this comes out to 2.75. Now, of course, we can get the precise answers by using the thin lens equation and the magnification equation. So I have 1 over di plus 1 over do equals 1 over f. That means 1 over my image distance is going to be 1 over the focal length, that's 1 over 12, minus 1 over the object distance, or 1 over 8. And in my calculator, I'm just doing 1 12th minus 1 8th and then taking the reciprocal of that answer. And I end up with negative 24 for this. So the image distance is negative 24 centimeters. So we were off by a couple centimeters in our ray diagram, which is pretty typical for ray diagrams. Then we look at the magnification that's negative di over do. That gives me a negative of negative 24. So positive 24 over do, which was 8. And I get exactly 3 for the magnification. So again, the agreement between our ray diagram approximation and what we get from the equations is not perfect. But that ray diagram helps us to approximate the answer, and it also reminds us of physically what's going on as these diverging rays from the head of the object produce a virtual image on the same side of the lens. If you enjoyed this video, or at least found it useful, check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left, or click the Zach's Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab, and best of luck on your math and physics journey.